All right, so for this problem, we are solving for the polynomial equation, and let's begin by first solving what this radical 4 will be. Remember that once we have a number inside the radical, it has two answers. It has a negative answer and a positive answer. So for 4, we we're going to have a negative 2 and a positive 2 for our answer. So once we when we solve for this problem, we have x plus 1 equals plus or minus 2. And now we, have, now we can have two values for x because we're going to separate this plus or minus. So we're going to write two different equations. We have x plus 1 equals positive 2 and x plus 1 equals negative 2 for our two answers coming from the radical. So in order to solve for our first x, we're going to subtract 1 on both sides. And now we have x equals 2 minus 1, which is 1. And in our second equation, we're going again to subtract 1 on both sides. And now we have x equals negative 2 minus 1, which gives us a negative 3. So our x can have two values. It can have x equals positive 1 and x equals negative 3. And that corresponds exactly with answer A, which is going to be our final answer.